Well, I didn't actually, uh, it, didn't, it didn't start with I'm going to make a film about uh, gun violence and I'll go to Newtown. Um, I, I had worked with some colleagues and, and set out to tell a story first and foremost about how an entire community uh, looks in the, in the three years of, of the trajectory that we followed in the wake of, of gun violence from a perspective of a number of constituents in the community. And it unraveled over time and involved a lot of trust building with the town. Um, and of course, we can't really talk about Newtown without uh, underneath it talking about gun violence. Well, of course, there had been so many cameras there in those early times, and I really didn't meet those three families until some months later, uh, many months later, and it happened very privately and very organically. Um, but we explored off camera for quite a while how together we could do something that was very different than what could be done in short form news and um, something that would be meaningful and honor their desires, as, as one of our uh, subjects, David, says in the film, to just protect any, any family or community from having to go through this. Well, of, of course, in documentaries, you, you end up with so much footage, but um, you know, we, we really took the lead of the people who um, chose to participate in the film in that sense. And if there were things that they needed to, um, to tell or show that they later said maybe not so much, those were things we didn't include. Now, we made that choice because of two reasons. Um, one, and the most important, out of respect to the families who lost loved ones, and um, the second, to really support uh, the effort not to bring too much attention to the shooter, uh, to the shooter's identity and motives um, for the crime, to avoid copycat episodes, um, and not to glamorize the act uh, the horrific uh, act and, and shooting. So for those two reasons, uh, we tried to provide enough information, uh, but not too much um, uh, about the, the framing of the shooter. Well, you know, the lesson, the lesson was really one of inspiration. Um, the personal courage of the families who lost loved ones and their dedication to the effort of trying to prevent these acts of gun violence from devastating other communities, um, on a personal level, we found extremely, ins extremely inspiring, and um, the need to really, you know, address this issue and have the conversation um, in our own families and in our communities about, you know, the what is what is at stake, and how do we how do we prepare, how do we prevent um, such acts of gun violence in the future.